Okay, this is going to be my take on iPhone trading. Uh, it's something that we've taught before in the past on the Cartoon Smart website, but I don't want you guys to uh, feel like you you need to have uh, taken either of those two courses. Uh, they kind of progressively got easier, and actually I'm hoping to follow that pattern where I start you guys off incredibly easy, so you get kind of a, a, a good positive first start where you're not feeling overwhelmed, like you can't do it. Um, and then over uh, a six part, uh, which should be about a six week period, uh, build you guys up to doing some uh, pretty advanced stuff. And let me talk about that uh, kind of progressive training there. It's not something that I've ever done with a website. I think it's it could be uh, a neat way of doing things in the future where uh, what I'm gonna do is release a, a part about every week and then uh, I can get some feedback from you guys like midway through about, you know, well, you haven't taught this yet. Are you gonna teach this, et cetera. Um, so I think that'll be kind of neat. It's also going to keep me to task too. So like I have a, you know, a weekly <laughs> tutorial that I got to release, uh, which will kind of keep me from, you know, being the mama bird that sits on the egg too long. I, I tend to do that with tutorials. I'll sit on them for, for months and, and, uh, just keep building onto them and not release them. Uh, so I think that'll be cool. Uh, let's talk really fast about, um, the delivery for that. Uh, we've got this, I'm just going to slide over here, um, this is a, actually a browser one without the URL showing because I don't want to give this away. But uh, this is just an example download for one of our other um, template packages. And uh, you can see that there are uh, three download links here. Okay, so uh, for this course, like after week one or, or part one, there's just going to be uh, one link to download. And I'm going to add over time uh, links to this page to download. Your uh, original link that you get, get sent uh, will always be able to give you access to those files, uh, even though after maybe a couple weeks it'll the, the link will get expired. You can always just go and uh, find that same link. Uh, there'll be a button if it is expired that says request more time. That's kind of what this looping thing goes through. And uh, I'll send you a new link. Also though, too, um, I believe in payloads that there's a button that I can press that sends out links, uh, new download links to currently, um, you know, active buyers of this product. So, uh, you know, if that works flawlessly, then every you should get over time six emails for six parts or how many parts there's going to be. I, I think it's going to be six. So expect that to happen. Um, but again, you know, I kind of have like a really loose policy in terms of people re-downloading stuff. You know, I, I almost always. <laughs> hit um, approve. I mean, I always do if it's somebody that hasn't like scammed the website, you know, and, and bought with someone else's car, but I do keep track of that stuff. So um, that is how we're going to handle the delivery. And uh, let me kind of continue with this overly long intro, a bit longer. We're, um, I'm actually going to save out this intro in a whole separate part anyway. So if you guys do want to jump ahead to the Xcode code stuff, feel free. But uh, we do need to mention uh, how you are going to get the uh, tools to uh, develop for the iPhone. And you want to go to uh, this URL over here. Uh, you're going to land on a page that looks similar to this. If you're not actually signed up for the um, uh, to be a developer yet, you do need to do that. And then that uh, should unlock the links below here uh, that uh, let you download the latest build. And in fact, you'd want to, if you're on Leopard or Snow Leopard, you want to follow those particular uh, links right there. And um, the iPhone Development Center is, um, you know, it's kind of like a must bookmark. Uh, you'll end up going back to it over and over and over again. They have tons of um, examples and sample code. And uh, the Dev Center is kind of tied into with all the kind of help documents for um, Xcode. Anyway, so you, you, you always end up finding your way back here. But uh, there is one uh, link that I uh, want to make sure that you guys recognize, which is up here in the top right, this iPhone development program portal. And uh, from here, you are um, going to be downloading things like uh, your provisioning assistant. And um, that's uh, just kind of like a certificate file that, that uh, stays on your computer that gives you uh, the ability to install uh, the application that you're developing onto the phone itself. Uh, and I, you, I can't remember exactly, but you might, um, to get into this part of the, the portal, you might need to uh, pay that $100 fee to Apple, not to me, <laughs> to um, just make you like, I guess, like a more official developer. And that $100 fee, um, it, it covers 
uh, you know, all this stuff over here for the certificates and things like that. But then it also gives you like the most important thing, which is the ability to submit your app uh, to the app store to get approved uh, to actually sell things and make money through it. Uh, so when you think about it, it's it's a, it's a really um, it's a really cheap fee considering what's possible. I did release a game recently, and I think I've already covered. I definitely have already covered the the you know the cost to be a part of the program. Uh, so we're going to actually talk more about um, downloading these uh, particular certificates and getting your device enabled for uh, testing it uh, at a later time. Um, what I'm doing, you can see actually that um, I'm logged in as like myself right now. I just submitted a different application to Apple to um, develop, um, uh, you know, like for Cartoon Smart through the company. Uh, so I'm going to have to actually like go back from scratch and, and download some of these uh, permissions and certificates and things like that. So I'm going to actually be taking notes in about a week of like that whole process. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and you don't need um, to pay that $100 fee if you just want to play around in Xcode right now, which is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, Xcode has a um, simulator for the iPhone. So like it, you know, on the you're going to see it a little bit on the computer here it brings up a little mock iPhone and we get to play around with that and there's some kind of basic gestures you can do with it rotate it left right shake it so that covers pretty much uh, all I, I'm we're gonna be focusing on for a while so if you don't want to pay that hundred dollar fee until you feel like you absolutely need to that's gonna be fine uh, tutorial wise and I'm trying to think if there is anything else we need to talk about uh, in this intro well uh, get uh, get uh, the uh, the Xcode uh, SDK software development kit downloaded. Uh, once you get it installed, I would highly recommend um, that you take those application icon uh, icons for Xcode, for Interface Builder, and uh, eventually for the iPhone simulator as well, and, and put them on your dock bar because you're gonna be switching back and forth between them all the time uh, during development. So uh, do that. And then I shall meet you back here uh, for the actual beginnings of this tutorial. <laughs> okay, not just the intro. Okay, hopefully you just watch the intro. Um, we are going to actually begin here. And uh, I haven't totally settled in on a course name for this. So for right now, we're just going to call it Justin's iPhone Training. This will be part one. And that is an empty folder right now. We need to go over here to Xcode and start a new project. So I'm going to go click on uh, Create New Pro Xcode Project. And as soon as you get things started here, you do get um, quite a few options. Uh, we want to make sure that our product for right now is going to be set for the iPhone. And um, more than likely, uh, when, you're, when you're starting off with the iPhone, you're going to be choosing between this window-based application or view-based application. Uh, I think I've started all mine with view-based at this point. So I'm going to go with um, choosing that. And, of course, I do need to save it at that point. Uh, I need a let's see, desktop. Okay. And uh, let's just call this uh, part one training. How about... Uh, actually, you know what? <laughs> Even right here, there's probably something I should discuss. Uh, you... Um, if you know that your application name or what you want it to be, uh, it's probably a good idea at this point to just throw that name in there uh, because it's going to create a few uh, files um, or preferences based on what I give this initial name. Okay, so I'm just going to go click on save and uh, I think you'll see in a second. Like if I were to uh, publish out this um, file, it's going to leave me with a. Uh, so it'd be in their products, I think. It, it would create this application called part one underscore training. Uh, so I wouldn't really recommend putting an underscore there either, uh, nor a space. If you can keep it to kind of one simple word for your application, I think that's um, usually going to be best. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, it's there's there's kind of like plenty of info out there for, you know, like, oh, no, I, I need to change the name of my application. Um, you'll you'll find that. And there's like three or four things that you need to do. Uh, to make that happen but uh, Apple can be kind of particular when it comes to actually submitting your application uh, so that I could see how that could probably be one of those things where like oh there's a mismatch here that you're you know somewhere in your file it's in, in your project that's named one thing and then another so keep that in mind all right uh, I, I, I want to infuse you guys with a lot of positivity today all right because I do really really understand how difficult it is to learn